Paul, the open training session, a lot yeah. of people out there aren't really quite sure what goes on behind the closed doors. Tell us you know, roughly what's happened so far this week and what um, you've been doing day by day. Day by day, I mean, uh, uh, it's been a lot of testing, a lot of medical testing, screening, things like that, you know, for injuries, um, trying to make sure that obviously, you know, you've got to stay fit if you want to play. Um, there's a huge uh, backroom staff, you know, there's a squad, obviously the playing squad, but a massive backroom staff that that are helping, you know, get all that done. I mean, it's um, it's really quite an impressive feat this week, really. Um, a lot of fitness, you know, like fitness scores, and bet, you know, all the weights and things like that. So it's, um, but we've also been on the pitch, um, you know, going through our patterns and the way we want to play the game, which, which I think that, um, you know, is going to be beneficial to us as a squad. I think it's just uh, an opportunity to get in when there's not a game at the end of the week and, you know, get familiar with each other again and, and how we want to play and how each other play and um, I think that's massively important and it's, it's helping a lot. This time last year you weren't a member of the elite performance squad and then suddenly out of the blue in November, or maybe it wasn't out of the blue, you can tell me, you yeah. got called up. Take us through those emotions and how you found out. Yeah, I mean it's an unbelievable season really. I was probably sat here this time last year and I just signed from London Welsh to Gloucester and probably starting my pre-season with them. But, um, yeah, ra you know, rapid rise, I suppose. I uh, got a few games and um, w went pretty well. I, um, that coupled with a bit of a cri injury crisis and uh, I suddenly found myself winging my way to Penny Hill Park on a Sunday night or something like that. So, uh, no, it was, it was uh, a bit surreal, but it was one that I feel that, you know, I quit myself pretty well. I got on in, that, um, in the autumn against arguably probably the best front row in the world, maybe, and... Uh, one of the best front rows in the world, and, that, and I felt I did pretty well. Um, Who told you that you'd <coughs> been called up to the England squad? And did, was it on text? Was it on phone? Yeah, or, I just. Or did you tell them the news? Yeah, no, I um, I walked off the pitch. We were playing Cardiff, I think, and uh, I walked off the pitch, and and I sort of got ushered off by our head coach, and was he said, uh, yeah, you're required in for Penny Hill Park, and and I was like, really? And they said, you know, where it is, and I said, of course I do. You know, it's just down the road from where I'm from, and and I said, okay, cool. Well, I'm down, there. and I thought oh, I'll just be going down to hold up a couple of bags and, and sort of get my eye in, I suppose. And then they sort of ushered me off and I got here as well and said, you know, you might be on the bench, so get your head round it. And uh, then when I was on the bench, it was obviously, it was, um, you know, elation, but it was uh, a bit of, bit, you know, a bit of anxiety. Yeah, well, a bit of anxiety. Well, just a bit of anxiety. I mean, I, you know, I just didn't sleep then, I don't think, for the rest of the week. But uh, no, it was amazing. It was, a, it was an amazing bit surreal, though. So and then obviously you got the handbook, did you, and then the yeah, shirt. you get everything, yeah. That, well, that must have been... Yeah, phenomenal. Like. Um, <laughs> I mean, the best part of it was um, I'm best friends with James Haskell, so obviously uh, from school, from our school days, and, um, you know, that was the best thing, I think, pulling on an England jersey with your best mate and singing the anthems together. That's pretty special, I think.